let me talk a bit about how I create content these days, especially between the play phase and the polish phase. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go and Google three phases of creation, play, polish, promote, and you'll find my article on that. So, you know, I used to, when I, when I write an article, I used to um, sit down you know, to a blank screen and just the play phase is simply like, okay, let me just brainstorm whatever I can think of about this topic or whatever, right? And that's fine. And that's how a lot of writers do it. And of course, my, just to say, well, George, you make videos too. Well, I just, I, I, I take a, an article and then I just speak it out on a video without reading the article. I just kind of impromptu speak on basically what I wrote. So that's sort of like article to video thing. But, and then the podcast is just the audio of a video. So the whole thing is all linked in, in the chain. But, um, but let me just talk about the, the actual creation of the ideas, right? So the, so the play phase, I no longer just sit in front of a blank screen and do that. What I prefer doing now is I tweet my ideas daily. And uh, on a, so, so um, you know, once a week, I will have a topic in mind that I, I'd like to explore this topic this week, uh, just throughout the week. I'm going to explore this idea. And so I will start a Twitter thread and I will then, you know, basically um, go through and but below this video, if I forget to do this, please comment below, remind me, I forgot to post the, the link, but below this video, I'll, I'll, I'll give you an example of a, of a Twitter thread. Yeah. Anyway, so below, I I should have posted a a link to an example Twitter thread where I explore the one topic throughout the week, and I have a sort of a to do item a reminder for myself uh, at the end of each day that if I haven't tweeted something about that idea, I'm going to go ahead and do so. And Twitter thread is basically going to the original thread and then adding a another reply to myself below. Just you know, that's how Twitter works for getting a Twitter thread. And the reason I do this is because uh, I, it's kind of a nice, well, number two reasons. One is that Twitter has a nice limitation of 280 characters. Some people are frustrated by it, but it's not really limited because you can, your Twitter thread can be as long as you want. It could be an entire book. Uh, you just keep replying to that Twitter thread. There's no limitation to how many replies you can send to yourself uh, on, on, on Twitter. So, but the limitation calms me. Because when I see a blank screen, I get freaked out because I, I don't, I, I grew up having some traumatic writing experiences and I don't like seeing a big blank screen. So at Twitter, it's like, oh, I only have 280 characters. So what's the basic idea I want to say? And Twitter is much more casual. So it's kind of like, you know, I could just tweet, tweet it out. And that's the one benefit is kind of limited temporary constraint that calms me and, and also a temporary constraint of daily tweet. Did I tweet today yet? I didn't tweet today. Okay. I got to do it. Right. And so every day I'm like, oh, what's one idea I want to say about this? Okay, tweet, tweet it out. So by the end of the week, and usually when I'm tweeting out the idea, I'm oh, well, here's something else I want to say. Oh, here's something. So I usually like do our two or three tweets each day for that idea. So by the end of the week, it's two or three tweets per day times seven days. You know, that's pretty much an article. That's at least a really good start of an article. And I can put put those tweets, copy and paste those tweets into a Google document and then cut and paste those ideas into a better order and then maybe write a little bit more on each idea if I want to, sub idea. Um, so that's that's another reason I, I do it is uh, it's a daily, daily rhythm that makes sure I, I continually develop an idea. And the third really, really important reason for this is um, to ensure that I... Uh, take a put a flag in the public uh, content space that I have this idea. Now, why I do that is because I don't want someone in the future to say, "George, you stole my idea uh, about you know X Y Z." No, I didn't. Here's a tweet from three years ago where I already originally had the idea and I already started tweeting about it because tweets are all public now. Assuming you have a normal Twitter account, which is public, all your tweets are public, right? Some people get in trouble for their public tweets, right? But I tweet publicly because I'm putting this flag in to say, hey, I, I didn't steal your idea. I already had this idea three years ago or six months ago or whatever. And so it's nice that whenever I have an idea, like, hmm, I don't want someone to say I stole it from them. I'm going to quickly tweet it out. Now, I don't care if someone takes my ideas. Uh, if you know me, you know that I, all my con public content is Creative Commons zero, which I don't care if you take my idea and call it your own and publish a whole book and create a whole paid program. and That's your idea. Fine. I don't care. I'm, I'm too busy creating new stuff here to care about whether some people take my ideas and plagiarize me or I don't care about plagiarism. So, but I do it so that someone doesn't accuse me of plagiarism. 
you know? So that's why, um, that's why I do that. And uh, I love this way of creating content now, because by the time I get to it, get to a blank screen, it's not a blank screen. I've got a bunch of tweets that I can reorganize and, and comment on and all that stuff. So I think it's a really great way to use Twitter and I highly recommend it.